If your Google business profile has been suspended, you've probably received an email like this and seen a warning message like this when you try to access your profile. Take a deep breath and don't worry, because in today's video, I'll walk you through the steps to get your profile back to its former glory. This process has changed quite a bit in the last few months, and this is the most up-to-date version. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Luc Duran, founder of Ranking Academy, a channel dedicated to local marketing that has helped thousands of small business owners overcome their online challenges and improve their online visibility. If you want to join our community of over 260,000 strong, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Enough said. Having your Google business profile suspended means that your listing can no longer be found on Google Maps and Google search results, or that you can't make any changes to it anymore. In either case, it's not good news. And my first piece of advice is this. Don't be tempted to claim another listing at the same address. It violates Google's guidelines and will likely be suspended too. Instead, you need to appeal Google's decision. But before you can start the appeal process, you'll need to find out why your listing was suspended and fix it. If you're not sure why, Google should have given you a hint in the email you received. Usually, the suspension happens because you knowingly or unknowingly did something that looks spammy, goes against Google's guidelines, or violated Google's terms and conditions. Given that Google's hints can be vague, I'll go through the most common issues that cause listings to be suspended. This should address 90% of all suspension cases, which should help you fix your listing before you submit your appeal. Step one, fix your listing. The list I'm about to share will help you figure out why your listing might have been suspended. Check each point and fix any problems you find. This will improve your chances of getting your listing back quickly. Number one, you've added keywords to your business name. If you've added extra keywords to your business name, such as your city name or a keyword you are trying to rank for, remove them. This goes against Google's guidelines. You should use the business name as specified on your business license. Number two, your address is violating the guidelines. If you are using a PO box address, a UPS box address, or a virtual office address, this is likely why your listing was suspended as these aren't allowed. You can use a co-working space if you can prove you rent a dedicated office that no one else shares, where customers can visit and it has permanent signage showing your business details. This is not easy to do. Bottom line is get yourself a real address if that's why your listing was suspended. Number three, you're displaying an address on your listing, but you're a service area business. If you visit customers at their homes, you're a service area business. And according to Google's guidelines, you shouldn't display an address on your listing. Instead, specify the areas you serve to fix this delete the address and add the neighborhoods you operate in. Number four, you've made too many changes to your listing at once. Changing important information on your Google business profile, like your name, address, phone number, or business categories, and too often can get your account suspended. Businesses don't change these things regularly, so Google gets suspicious when they do. If this happened to you, there isn't much you can do at this stage. Go through the appeal process covered in step two. Next time, be sure to give enough time between edits to avoid getting suspended again. Number five, your business operates exclusively online. The number one requirement to be eligible for a Google business profile is to have physical contact with customers. If your business operates exclusively online, you are not eligible for a listing. If you manage to get a listing anyway and it has been suspended, don't bother appealing. Your appeal will be declined. Number six, you say you're open 24 hours, but you're not. If you claim your business is open 24 hours, but it's not, Google might suspend your listing. Make sure to display your correct opening hours. Number seven, website link violation. If the website link on your listing redirects to a site that isn't your business website or points to a social media page, change it to your actual website. If you don't have one, leave it blank. Number eight, you're considered a high-risk business type. 
Businesses like locksmiths, plumbers, lawyers and HVAC services are considered high-risk categories because they often break Google's rules. As a result, they are constantly monitored by Google to prevent spam. This means even genuine listings can get suspended, even if they follow all the rules. If your listing complies with Google's guidelines, you can start the appeal process. Number nine, switching between a storefront and a service area business. Changing your listing from a service area business to a storefront or vice versa can trigger a suspension. If this happened right after you made the switch, review this list to ensure your listing complies with the guidelines if it does, start the appeal process. Number 10, multiple listings for the same business. Creating multiple listings to be found in different areas on Google Maps is common for service area businesses. However, you need to prove that each listing is for separate service areas with no overlap, each one doesn't extend more than a two hour drive and they are managed by different staff. If you don't follow these rules, all your listings might get suspended. If you can't prove some of your listings are legitimate, remove them from your Google Business Profile dashboard and keep the legitimate ones. Try deleting them on Google Maps, but before you do, make sure to grab the Google Maps URL for them and include those URLs in the appeal process to come clean. Number 11, multiple listings for the same businesses at the same address. Unless your business is located in an office building or a mall, claiming multiple listings for your business at the same address, like your home address, might result in a suspension, especially if you use the same phone number. For example, if you try to claim a listing for a web design business and another for internet marketing services, it won't work. You should add internet marketing services as an additional category on your web design listing. Just like before, try deleting the extra listing on Google Maps, but before you do, make sure to grab the Google Maps URL for it and include the URLs in the appeal process. Number 13, your listing was suspended because someone who manages your profile had their account suspended. If you've worked with various SEO companies or freelancers and provided them access to your listing, you might have forgotten to remove their access when you stopped working with them. It's a common oversight. However, if any of their Google accounts were suspended, your listing could be suspended too by association. Before starting your appeal process, check who has access to your listing and remove anyone who shouldn't be listed there. Although these are the most common reasons why your listing has been suspended, I strongly recommend you go through the prohibited and restricted content list to make sure you leave no stone unturned. Once you're confident you've identified and fixed the issues with your Google business profile, and not until then, you can move to step two. Step two, launch your appeal. Okay, what I'm going to talk about now is super important, so listen up. Google changed the appeal process last year, and as part of the process, it's now highly recommended you upload official business documents to prove your business is real. When you get to that stage, you only have 60 minutes to upload them. That's not much time if you're scrambling to find the right paperwork. Plus, you only get one shot at this. Once the 60 minutes are up, that's it. To avoid this, get your documents ready beforehand. That way, 60 minutes will be plenty of time and you'll have the right documents ready to go, which will boost your chances of getting your listing back. Here is what you can use. Your official business registration, your business license, your tax certificates, utility bills such as electricity, phone, cable, internet, etc. Make sure whatever you use clearly shows your business name and address. For example, if your utility bills are under your personal name, they won't work. They must display the same business name and address as your business license or tax certificates. If your listing displays a physical address, add a picture of your outside signage to strengthen your case. Make sure the sign is permanent, not just some handwritten sticker on a door. Gather as many proofs as you can and put them in a zip file to make it easier. Now, you're ready to start the appeal process. Dig out the email from Google notifying you about your profile suspension and click on the appeal button. This will open the appeal tool. Make sure the email address displayed is the one associated with the suspended listing. If not, switch the account. Click on Confirm. This will show all listings linked to this account. 
Select the listing you want to appeal. If you only have one listing, it will be displayed by default. Click on Continue. On the next screen, you will see when your business profile was suspended, why it was suspended, and if it's eligible for appeal. Unfortunately, not all listings are eligible for appeal, so if your listing isn't, you won't be able to proceed. If you are able to appeal, click on Next. This window lets you know you can provide evidence after submitting your appeal to support your case, which is something you definitely want to do. You will have 60 minutes to submit your evidence after clicking the Submit button, so make sure you are ready. Luckily, if you followed my instructions, you already have all the right documents prepared, so that shouldn't be a problem. Do not click Submit unless you are 100% certain your listing complies with Google's guidelines and you have the correct evidence. If ready, click Submit. Clicking the Submit button sends your appeal to Google and starts the 60-minute countdown to provide your evidence. Click on the Add Evidence link. This opens the evidence form, pre-filled with your business details such as your name, address and business profile ID. Use this form to upload your documents proving your business is real and legitimate. You can do this in two ways, either upload two separate documents or if you followed my instructions, a zip file that contains all your evidence, which is better if you have more than two pieces. I also strongly recommend you use the additional information field to support your case. Explain why your profile should be reinstated, the steps you took to comply with the guidelines, and any other relevant information. You have a thousand character limit, so be concise and factual. Complete the rest of the form and click Submit. You'll be redirected to the Appeal tool, which should now display your profile status as Submitted. Wait for the Google support team to review your case and decide if your listing will be reinstated. This process can take a few days, so be patient. While waiting, you can check the status of your listing regularly by visiting the Appeal tool. If your appeal is successful, you will receive an email confirming approval and reinstatement of your listing. Note that once your listing has been reinstated, it may take a few days for it to rank as well as it did before the suspension. If your appeal is declined because Google still feels your listing is not in compliance with the guidelines, you will also receive an email to let you know. If this is the case, you can ask for one last review. You can do this using this dedicated form. Go through the same process of figuring out why your Google Business Profile was suspended and fix it. Resubmit your documents and make sure they are the correct ones. This is your last chance to restore your listing. Failing that, you won't be able to retrieve it ever. That's it for today, guys. Best of luck. All the links you need are in the description below. Once your listing is restored, make sure you optimize it as well as you can to attract as many customers as possible. I've put together a list of 50 tips you can follow right here to achieve the best results. Watch it now.